Hi, welcome to Manix 10 video tutorial, another user wish. Um, this time someone wants to make a sort of flexible tube and I want to show you how to use low curves and to create flexible section surfaces with laws. You can just simple draw a log curve or you can make a log curve by expressions. I try to show you both methods. So let's start first with a sketch and that plane. Okay. And first I want to make the center curve for my section surface. This make it tangent. Okay, that should be my center curve. Let's finish the sketch. I want to have a baseline and this baseline should be another sketch and in that plane it doesn't really matter, I could do it on the same plane. So let's make it on this plane. Okay. And let's take a look. This should be just a line. And then like this, make it 100 in length. And in that direction, doesn't matter. Okay. So first I want to draw a law curve just to show you how it works. My sketch, and this one, okay. And this might look, I could go for a spline, three points, yes. Let's make it Okay. And maybe a line went to this point, maybe a line. And the axis. line like this okay so it construction and make it vertical yeah maybe like this okay and finish the sketch so you can do a section surface, go to surface, control R, there you go. Use a circular one with the center and radius. Start guide should be this one, the whole curve. Tangent curves. And the log curve might be this, and the baseline might be that. And the spine curve for this, I use the same as the start guide, 
again the copy curve and you see the radius of this circle is controlled by the distance between this law curve and this base curve. This base curve has not to be a line, it could be a spline as well. And you could make a sheet and you got sort of a flexible tube already. Make it okay. If I change the sketch, this one. This and make this longer and leave the sketch. You see, this tube adjusts to the center curve. Now, if you adjust the log curve. This sketch maybe like this, for example. Finish the sketch, you see it adjusts. So now let's with this one and make a law curve by expressions. Therefore you have to consider where your law curve lies in the space. So I will put my law curve maybe somehow it's not it's on this plane but I don't really put it on this plane so uh, let's check I go to tools expressions and I have to define some parameters first I want to have one which is called T because an X uses uh, parameter called t which always goes from 0 up to 1 so I make a new one which is called t and it's 0 of the value and confirm then I define the variable which is called xt and the value is t and another one which is called yt and this is a formula which is 2 times Sinus of T multiplied three hundred and sixty. So I have to go from zero to three hundred and sixty because T goes from zero to one multiplied with let's say thirty. sort of factor and I have to make sure that this value doesn't go below zero so I will add at least let's say five and I will change this later on then I want to have one which is called set t this is zero. Confirm. And I want to 
to use the length of my center curve as well. And then I want to do some sort of correctional factor. And therefore, I have to define first, not define, but to measure my curve. So let's confirm this. And I need the length of this curve. So let's check it. I want to have the length of my curve and the length will be measure length. That's the curve. And I need the complete one. If it's 367. Okay, and make it as shiftive. Okay, so that's the length, and it should be available in my tools expressions as well. Not the name, but show all. And there is the measurement, and I want to use this one. Therefore, I make a new one, which is called length center curve. And this is equal to this one. P2. Okay. Confirm. And my factor is a new one, it's called call, call factor. because I wanted to change this. So where is it? There it is. This formula should be different. This should be a vector times this curve vector. And okay. Now let's define our law curve. So go to NZ, there should be somewhere a law curve, there it is. And first parameter, that's XT, that's the X law, that's okay. The Y law should be yt yes and the set low could be set t or just constant zero and okay you see there is a there is the curve So let's check what happens. If I make it like this, go again to the section surface. Again, this is my center curve, tangent curves. My law curve is this one, and my baseline, sorry.
surface. It's the start guide. Tangent. Then my law curve is this one. And my baseline should be that one. Okay. The spine curve is the same as before. And you get something like this. See? And OK. Now, if you change that curve, make it shorter, for example. Leave the sketch. You see it adjusts. In this case, we got sort of a problem, so let's take a look. It's hard because this should not happen. Okay, this looks pretty nice, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried it a little bit slower as usual, so you can better understand how to do it. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.